Hi, I thought this is an interesting question, hence I am making this video. Okay, so the question here is, quite simple it is, there are a bunch of column names in an Excel sheet, trying to push that data into another Excel sheet. So the trickiest part here is, if you look this column name, VAV colon MFP stamp PA last slash ADF so this is one of the column names and it's trying to map into another Excel sheet so when flow runs this value is not appearing it for some reason okay so what I did is I created an Excel sheet with the similar similar name okay so this is my Excel sheet and you can see it's exactly the same name I given yeah Okay, let's start building a flow and see why this this column we can't read it. Because what it's saying here is it's kind of missing the values there. That's what it's saying. Yeah. Okay, so the next step, I'm using a manual manual trigger here. Okay, next is a file. And uh, you need a table. So that's my table name. Yeah, for my Excel sheet, for them, for my Excel sheet, yeah. Okay, so next step, I'm going to add a compose. Right, map that value. Here it is, okay. And there are some values there, you see it. Okay, let me save this flow and uh, run the flow, see the result, what we get. Okay, see it's blank, there is nothing there actually. Okay, then what I thought is, I'm going to add a select, let's see whether that can get the value or not. So under the data operation, we have something called select. map the value and click on the t sign i just want to map that same value here that's all it is here it is okay have a go with another run now and see the result right see both values are none and you can see here three five hundred and five 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 hundred is the values it's not appearing it. Okay, so what's causing here? So if you look closely here in the compose, what happens here is the peak code. See that? There's a tilde sign here. Yeah. The see that tilde sign? So the actual you know the column name is the it that's a slash. So somehow the slash is converted as a tilde sign here. Yeah. I think that's what causing the issue here. So to overcome the issue, what we need to do here is I'm going to copy this exactly the same value here. Control C that. Remove the current mapping. Go to the expression. Paste the same value. Remove the tilde value and put the slash. That's it. And click OK that here. So remember there is a slash here. See? That's, so that's value I put here. I'm going to use the similar one here also. So just copy this, remove that mapping, and paste that. Oops, I can't use that. So what I need to do here is I'm going to use item because it's a select, so we need to use item here. And then, yeah, use that as, that as an expression. Here it is. Okay, I try to run this now. See, oh, that's blank. And let's see this one here. Oh, that's blank as well. Okay, let me see what I was, what I am doing wrong here. Right, I think that's a silly mistake here. I put an extra one there in the column name.
see that there is no one there actually click update yep going back to the item i think it's the same thing here too we don't need the one i don't know how that happened yep okay that's corrected now so it's exactly the column name here see that so after the last uh, i put a tilde instead of the tilde mark i put slash so, and i use that as an expression now here okay so now try to run this and hopefully we should get the result we are expecting now okay so in the select here we go i got both values inside my applied to age it should be the same value here the first iteration 3500 second row that is 5500 so that's the technique i believe i don't know whether it's a bug or not so the best thing you can do here is treat that as an expression put the exact column name and also remember the underscore x 3 a that is because of the colon okay so you need to use exactly like that then yeah use the colon that is underscore x 3 a underscore but the tilde design you need to remove it and put that as a slash so that that's the way you know you can get the values hope this is useful thank you for watching